All right, welcome to this week's Coffee and Conversation, where I want to go over seven tips to having a successful long-term marriage. First one is, continue to date your wife. Why? Because if you don't, there's a 98% chance you're going to end up divorced. It's about time to connect with each other on a regular basis and also make sure she remembers how much you love her. Studies have shown weekly date night, wives that have that report, they are 350% more satisfied with the relationship. So is it easy when kids are little? No. Is it necessary? Yes. Two, do not, do not lose yourself. Okay, you are two individuals that are marrying. You must continue to spend time with other men. You must continue to do things that you enjoy. It's a balancing act. You know, when you look at the archetypes, king, warrior, magician, lover, you cannot let any of those go dormant. And this is a two-way street. If you guys are on the same page and your wife wants to be a stay-at-home mom, you need to make sure she has Mother's Day out, that she has interaction with her friends, she has interaction with adults. Uh, three, the most important thing you can do for your kids is to prioritize the marriage, not the children. Children don't need to do everything. Children need to hear the word no. Children benefit from an intact home, which means you need to prioritize the marriage over the children. Too many people today put their kids up on a pedestal or do everything around the kids. And I had a wife years ago who was like that. And it's not healthy. Four brothers, you need to lead in the romance department. Yeah, you need to plan the dates, get the sitter. Again, we already talked about continuing to date. Not all dates are expensive, but you need to be the one leading this charge. Okay, that doesn't mean she can't occasionally plan, but this needs to be in your realm of responsibilities. It also means you need to up your bedroom skills. If you haven't read She Comes First yet, you're not doing yourself or her any favors. In fact, you're hurting your marriage. Five, one or two weekends away each year without the kids. It'd be nice if you could go for a week without the kids as well. But if you can't, and that's understandable, once every couple of two, three years, you need a trip away without the kids. All right, again, prioritizing the relationship. You got to do these things. Six, don't fight. I'm not saying be a doormat, but don't fight over stupid stuff, over small stuff. And most of the guys I talk to who fight all the time, it's over stupid stuff. If you're working on yourself and you're well-grounded, you're not going to get sucked into these fights. Seven is have a budget and make sure you're both on the same page. It goes to hopes and dreams, okay? And a budget isn't about control. It's about being intentional with how you're going to spend your money. And so, guys, don't complain that she gets her nails done. Do you like the look of her nails? When she is looking gorgeous and feels gorgeous and is a happier person because she's taking care of herself... Talking to you guys about self-care, you need to go to the gym, you need to do all these things. You need to understand they have the same needs, but different, all right? These are seven tips for a long-term, happy, successful marriage or relationship. The reality is this means you have screened well and selected well and didn't ignore a bunch of red flags. If you guys are struggling with anything you want to talk, feel free to hit me up, send a private message. Uh, have a great day, guys, and we'll see you next week. Bye.